Hey, a pleasure day, everyone. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be the next edition of the Pond Key Take. As we review some good news in the league, like the Bakersfield Condors coming back, and also, of course, because they need depth in net, the Buffalo Sabres, who would then play for the Americans, Malcolm Subban, excuse me, getting picked up to get another chance, and probably have a much better chance there to get an NHL chance with the Buffalo Sabres. But the Bakersfield Condors right now... Um, we're back, and that's good to see. They're back on Saturday, December 4th is their first game back after they had another game postponed, um, which was Friday's game against Henderson. And then when it comes to suspensions, um, Rain or Austin, the Ontario Rain forward Austin Wagner was suspended for one game as a consequence of an illegal check to the head in the Abbotsford Canucks game, which was missing tonight's game. He's missing this current game against Bakersfield. Um, that happened tonight, and that is still ongoing as we speak. But the other news that is the bad news in this one is continued COVID updates from around the AHL, where besides the Bakersfield game on Friday that got postponed, where of course they started back up tonight, all of the Penguins' weekend games, it was announced um the American Hockey League announced that due to the league COVID-19 protocols affecting Wilkes-Barre Scranton, Penguins, their games um, for tonight at Syracuse, which is when this came out, and then for the Saturday, December 4th game versus Charlotte have been postponed, and they're, of course, following all the enhanced protocols there. So they had their game postponed. That's obviously not what you want to see continuing with Rochester, who we thought would come back tonight as well, but then ended up having their game postponed again against the Crunch and are still going through the protocols themselves and obviously have the enhanced protocol. So hopefully Rochester, hopefully Wilkes-Barre can come back right away. Hopefully the Hartford um, Wolfpack can come back as well. So we want all these teams that are, of course, away from the game to be able to come back and play the sport that they know and love, where in the positive notes, um, of course, hopefully Hershey can come back too, but we have um, in the positive notes, the Bridgeport Islanders will be coming back tomorrow, and that will be their first game back to wrap up on a positive, but unfortunately, Rochester had to have another game suspended, Wilkes-Barre's games were suspended through the weekend, and that's just nothing, obviously, you want to see, but it is what it is, the AHL... Like I said in my past video, um, they got to figure it out and they have to um, get through this and figure this out because you want the Bruins, you want the Bears, and you want the other teams to be able to come back as quickly as possible and be as healthy as possible. But you also need to figure this out because you can't be having this many teams, a whole bundle of teams each time that have to go on pause because then, like I said before, that's just going to keep backing up the season. And you want it to have this more on a normal track schedule-wise. And that ain't going to fly or work if it keeps going like this. So you might have to tighten up, unfortunately. The protocols, like, it has been happening already. They have been tightening up, and they've been responding well. But if it keeps going like this in the cold months, you might have to just make it more similar, unfortunately, to the way it was last year until there's more, I guess, herd immunity or whatever you want to call it because, obviously, there is still breakthrough cases. We're seeing it right before our eyes. But I hope you all enjoyed this quick video on the updates for what's going on with the COVID-19 going on in the AHL and also talking about the Malcolm Subban move as well as Wagner being suspended for the rain. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been the next edition of the Pond Key Take brought to you by Sports Fanatic News. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe down below in the sub button or up above on the easy-to-use widget and enjoy the rest of the AHL season. Peace out, everybody.